Hey guys, WiseGamer here, and today I'm doing an indie game review of Rocket League, and I'm sure many of you guys have heard of this awesome game from Psionic Studios. Awesome indie game, really taking off, getting a lot of traction, and I want to give an honest review and some feedback for it too. If it's a game that you should check out, and uh, kind of looking past all the hype of it and everything too, and if there is any flaws, we'll go over those as well. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Rocket League is a game where you're basically playing as cars on a soccer or a football field, if you're anywhere other than the US, a football field. Um, basically with the cars, you can do kind of like these double jump flip things, knock goals in that way, and you can go on 1v1, 2v2, 3v3, or 4v4 matches, so it gets really chaotic as you more cars get into it. You have the soccer arena indoors, you can actually drive on walls, jump boost, uh, boost of the air and kind of fly a little bit, things like that too. And you have this rocket booster on the back of your car since, you know, Rocket League, there you go. So basically with the game, as you play through, you actually have a few different game modes. So there's on leg, uh, both unranked and ranked matches. So you can actually rank up and get, you know, a different uh, like pro level, all star, stuff like that as well. And as you rank up, you unlock different things. As you complete matches, you unlock things. And basically those unlockables are able to customize your car. So there's a few different cars available. There's going to be some DLC cars, uh, some free, some paid for. And there's actually a few other things like hats and paint schemes and decals, rims, stuff like that too. A whole bunch to unlock and it's all based based on like how many miles you drive with certain things equipped and getting certain achievements because of that and uh, you know completing certain tournaments and different stuff like that. So with the gameplay you're actually going to be playing not only with bots but you can play with other players as well online and you can actually play cross platform be between PS4 and PC users. So PlayStation users actually got this as PSN Plus uh, members they actually got it for free. I want to say it was free for that 30 day period there. They were able to download it whole bunch of people hopped on, got really popular because of that, really got a name for itself. So Rocket League kind of took off, the community's pretty big, you can always find a match online. And with that, there's some of the drawbacks too. So cross-platform's awesome, don't get me wrong. If you don't have a controller though and you're playing on keyboard, you're going to get dis demolished. I mean, it's really difficult to play on keyboard, it's made for a controller, so I definitely recommend picking up a gamepad or picking it up on PlayStation if you haven't already. Uh, outside of that, the other drawbacks I notice is that the arena size always stays the same, or it seems to at least. So when you're playing on like a 3v3, which is what the game was made for, that's a standard mode, it's a little hectic, it's not too bad, it's, it's pretty hectic. 4v4 they literally call uh, like chaos, it's kind of got a nickname of like chaos or chaos mode. And it is pure chaos, which I get the developers kind of wanted that, that's why they named that mode. Um, but it's extremely crazy, I mean cars are just constantly slamming into each other, you can actually ram people and blow them up. And because the community is kind of big already and you got a lot of people from the console and PC playing it, it just has a lot of people kind of ramming each other because they think it's fun to blow each other up rather than playing the game how I feel it should have been made. Uh, again, I'm not the developer, so they're going to have the original vision, but I do wish that the arenas were a little bit bigger, so that's kind of a drawback of mine. There's also like offline tournament mode, which is a season that you can start up and you actually win a championship at the end if you make it all the way through, so you'll see that as well. Um, there's also split screen gameplay too, so you can actually play locally split screen, which is totally awesome. I love the way they did all of that. The visuals and artwork are great, the graphics are amazing, you can tell you're on the soccer field or football field, however you want to say it there. Um, you got the red team versus the blue team, and the red team can go into like yellows, orange, and the reds, kind of that whole spectrum. The blue team goes from like purple all the way up to like really light blue, turquoise, cyan, uh, cyan stuff like that, which is really nice. And the audio is great too, but even though the audio is amazing, it's got a really great soundtrack and a really great theme at the menu. When you get into the game itself, you hear all the arena sounds, but I really wish there was that overlaying track. If you could have that menu theme or just soundtrack in general being played in the game, that would be awesome. If it is being played, I didn't have my sound settings adjusted really, but I couldn't really hear the music track at all. I wish I could hear that music in the game, especially playing against bots, it would just be a lot more fun. Now I can see wanting to turn that off too or not having it at all because there is voice communication in the game as well as quick toggles using the D-pad, that's the directional pad, or some quick toggles on the keyboard too. I don't remember exactly what the keys were for that since I played with controller always. But those quick toggles are like, I got it, centering the ball, pass it here, take the shot, stuff like that. So it's ways that you can still communicate even if you don't have a headset or mic, which is really awesome. Finally, as far as replayability, I talked about the unlockables and the AI and everything too. Whether you want to find a match online and play against ranked, or you just want to get better in the training school, playing against AI, playing different training sessions to be able to get better there too, you're going to have a lot of stuff to unlock and customize your card. If you're into that type of thing, you're a completionist, or just want to play lots of games, it's awesome. You can think of it as similar to a sports game like Madden or MLB, where you just kind of play season after season, that type of thing, but in this case you actually get unlockables, which is even better. Finally, you know, overall, I definitely would recommend the game. It, it's awesome. I definitely say pick it up on Steam. I have the links down below. If you're a PlayStation user, pick it up too. It, it's a really great game. 
and you guys can play with PC users. It's the first game that's ever done that, and that's huge because first game that I can think of that's ever done that. And I know there's been other ones that have tried doing stuff like that or have talked about it, but there's been no like big AAA title that's been able to pull it off this well and this smoothly. And it's crazy to me that an indie studio like this is able to pull off something that people have requested forever. I mean, since online play with Xbox Live started back in Halo 2, uh, people were talking about having cross-platform games and, you know, things have just never came through with the AAA titles. I don't know if they don't want to take the risk or what's all involved there, but this game's doing it and it's doing it well. So guys, let me know what you think. Hopefully this was a good, honest opinion. Most people just talk about all the positives of Rocket League. There are some negatives too, like I said, with, you know, basically the uh, unlockables is great, but there's not too much other replayability unless you're playing with friends or you're okay with just playing with bots and unlocking stuff. Um, the arena size is great, but sometimes it's a little bit too big for 1v1 or way too small for 3v3 or 4v4. It just kind of depends on the playstyle. And then really outside of that, the only other drawback I can think of is just the fact that not everyone's using the voice communication or the, um, you know, the in-game stuff. So maybe as the community grows and learns more about the game, they'll start doing that too, because I'd love to pair it with different teams and do that type of thing. But that's just based on your own experience. So guys, hopefully you like the review though. Let me know what you'd like to see next. I have a few games queued up here, and I'll be pushing out these reviews as I go. Check out the other indie reviews in my series playlist. Otherwise, hope you guys have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye.